Now that I've walked you through all the features in the Gospel Library app, I thought I would show you how I study my scriptures. But before I begin, I want to mention a few things. First, everyone has their own scripture study methods and style. Be creative in coming up with how you study. Second, only recently have I had more quiet time to my day to really focus more on my studies. Before that, I had little ones at my feet all day, and my scripture study was very different than it is now. If you can't find a lot of quiet time to study, that's okay. Find small opportunities. Third, by no means am I an expert in the scriptures. Okay, time to show you how I study. And spoiler here, I actually don't use my phone much for scripture study. Instead, I love studying on my iPad and using my Apple Pencil. It's totally changed scripture study for me. Right now, I'm focusing on four main areas for my studies. First, the Book of Mormon, where I'm focusing on references to the love of God. Second, Come Follow Me. Third, Jesus the Christ. And fourth is Conference Talks. All right, let's pull out my iPad and show you how I study. In this video, I'll be using right here my Apple iPad, fourth generation. In addition, I'll be using an Apple Pencil second generation. It's important to note that not all iPads can use pencils and not all Apple Pencils work with all iPads. So keep that in mind if you're in the market for a new iPad and are wanting an Apple Pencil as well. In addition, I'll be using three different apps within this video. I'll be using the Gospel Library app, an app called GoodNotes, and the Scripture Citation Index app. First, I'll walk you through all three apps but be sure to watch to the very end where I show you how all three apps work together just like a well-oiled machine. I seriously love using these three apps together. Of course, my scripture study always starts with the Gospel Library app, so I'll go ahead and open that up. For the nitty-gritty on how the Gospel Library works, watch the Gospel Library playlist that I've linked above. For now, I'm just going to show a few of my favorite features in the Gospel Library app, but there are so many things you can do with this app. Some, my four favorite though are, first of all, is screens down here in the bottom right corner. I always have lots of different screens open for different things that I'm studying. For example, I have my Book of Mormon study plan here and Jesus the Christ. I have where our family's studying the New Testament and other things as well. Within that, I'm gonna open up my Book of Mormon study plan here. And you can see off to the left, this is the second feature that I love, is bookmarks. I can always bookmark right where I'm at in our studies, whether it's with my family or individually. I love using bookmarks. Another feature that I really love is tags. I can go ahead and I can click on a marking or make a marking and I can tag it with any topic that I want and create custom tags. I love using tags in my gospel study. And then the other thing that I really love to use is define and say for example i want to know what the word tribulation means i can just hold down on that and click on define and it'll help me understand better what tribulation means i use define a lot because it really helps to enhance my scripture study so there are many more features so many in the gospel library so go ahead and check out my other videos to learn all about them the next app I use is called GoodNotes. It's right here. I'm going to go ahead and open that. Within GoodNotes, you can create notebooks for different content or subjects, however you want to do it. You can see I have a Jesus the Christ notebook. I have a Book of Mormon notebook, one for the New Testament, Patriarchal Blessings, General Conference. Anyway, you can see there are lots of different notebooks that you can create. And there's a whole lot to this app. I'm not going to go into detail to it at all. But if I go, for example, here into my Book of Mormon notebook, I can go through and I can make handwritten notes. This is all just handwritten notes that I can put within the app. In addition, I can use the text feature over here to convert my handwritten notes as I write them into typed text. Uh, within the app, you can access your different notebooks up here at the top as you open them. And that's really easy to just be able to jump between different notebooks. And something that I really love is that you can open and edit PDF documents in here. So you can see over here, April 2023 General Conference, I have uploaded a PDF that I found on Good News Brand's website of General Conference. And I can go in here and I can highlight and make notes 
to all of the conference talks as I go through and study them. And I love being able to study them this way. In addition, I follow along with the Don't Miss This podcast, and they send out in their email a PDF that you can use. I actually import it right in here into GoodNotes, and then I can make my own notes right within the PDF that they send. It's super awesome to be able to use GoodNotes in this way. And there's, like I said, there's lots and lots to good notes that you can do. This is just a super brief overview. Okay, the final app I want to show you that I use, and thanks so much to Karen H. for introducing this one to me, is the Scripture Citation Index. That's this app right here. The Scripture Citation Index is an app that's connected to scriptures.byu.edu. The Scripture Citation Index links from scriptures to general conference talks, the Journal of Discourses, and the teachings of the prophet Joseph Smith. There's lots to this app, but I just want to touch on over here. You can see there's a library that can, you can read different scriptures with. You can search within the scripture citation index. And then over here is the citation index. And keep watching, and I'll show you how I use this in my studies. The citation index right here is the part that I love the most of the scripture citation index app. Now for the best part, let's make all these work together. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open the Scripture Citation Index app. And up here at the very top, you can see three little dots. I'm going to click on those and click slide over. And so that's going to slide the Scripture Citation app over. And then I'm going to click here on Library and open that up. And then click on the three dots of a at the top here and click split view and then I'm going to open the good notes app so I have all three apps open and running at the same time the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here and slide it over so that my scriptures aren't taking up as much space and good notes is taking up more of my screen so one of the great things about this is that I have my scriptures right here and a notebook right here to write them in and so you may be wondering, though, why on earth would Becky use GoodNotes for notes when the Gospel Library app has notes as well? And that's mostly just because of the process that I use to learn. For me, writing things down handwritten is how I learn better. So I take my treasures that I've written over here, and then I'll put them in a note in the Gospel Library app. So I don't take everything that I write in GoodNotes just the very best things make it into the notes in the gospel library app so one of the features that i love of using good notes and scriptures side by side is for example i'm over here in my jesus the christ notebook and i have just finished a chapter so i'm going to come over here in my screens to jesus the christ and one thing i can do is i can select this content right here i want this chapter heading to be over here on this screen. So I can just come over here, select it, and just drag it right over and put it right where I want it to be. There I have this chapter heading right here. I didn't have to type anything out. I just dragged it right over. And you can do that with any content in here. You can just select what you want and hold on to it and drag it over right into GoodNotes. I love the drag and drop feature. Another cool thing about GoodNotes is that the notes in there are searchable. So everything, even handwritten stuff, as long as it can read your handwriting, you can do a search up here within GoodNotes for all your content. Okay, so last thing you may be wondering is what about that Scripture Citation Index app that I was using? Where did that go? So let me jump back over here to Book of Mormon, and I'm in Mosiah 27, 28. And if I just take my finger and slide over here, you can see now it has pulled up the Citation Index app. As an example, I'm going to see what has been said in General Conference about Mosiah chapter 27. So we're going to come down here and go to Mosiah and click on 27. And I'm in verse 28 over here. So let's just scroll down and see if there's been anything said about verse 28. And I can click. See there it says right there, verse Chapter 27, verse 28. And there are three different conference talks plus two things from teachings of the prophet Joseph Smith that have referenced Mosiah 27, 28. And you can click on that and you can read through the talk 
and see what was said about it. Isn't that so cool? I love that power of that tool. It's so great. So there you go. That's how I go through and study my scriptures. I use the scripture citation index. I use, and then you can slide this out of the way when you're done with it. I use good notes and I use the gospel library and they're all together such a powerful tool. Okay, that's how I study my scriptures digitally. I hope you found this helpful. If so, be sure to like and subscribe below and even better, share with others how you study your scriptures.